welcome to the next part of Sophia. Last time we had um, quite an experience. I mean, like we little uh, crow here just wanted to uh, visit his boyfriend, but then Fio suddenly died, and like a masked person whose name is maybe Sophia probably killed him and. Then suddenly everything started again, and then we read a shit ton of research about déjà vu, and some researches were quite unethical and horrible in general. And then we got killed by Sofia again, so <laughs> let's see how it goes this time. You wonder how much time has passed. The stop must be coming up soon. I'm glad you could make it. Come on in. Welcome to my place. I hope you like it. Hehe. <laughs> when I start preparing dinner, you go ahead and make yourself at home. Well. It just keeps getting messier and uglier in here, doesn't it? Anniversary, holidays, surprising over entire month. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think we need. All right. All right. Parsley filled fridge. Most of the items smell expired. Huh. Huh. Oh man. Yeah, don't stall on me like that. Dinner didn't really turn out well, so I had to throw it away. Why don't you wait in the living room while I think about a plan B? You could also always get pizza. I mean, it's also not the healthiest, but pizza. Pizza. Pizza is nice. Pizza is good. Sorry for the wait. You ended up eating instant ramen. Again. Phew, that was good. Sorry I couldn't do any better. If only I wasn't such a klutz in the kitchen. Well, I'm not any better, so... I blame my parents for never teaching me. I do too. You know you seem really absent today. Got something on your mind? Well... Hmm, my parents? They are super busy people. And they are really strict. Apparently they do some research stuff, but I never get any of the topics they talk about. Are you the research subject they created? I swear to god. If they had a son just... Just for this purpose, that would be quite something. Like, man. Father told me that he would explain all that stuff to me after I turned 18, and then they just up and vanished on a world trip right before my 18th birthday. Can you believe it? Honestly, that really surprised me. My parents always act really cold with each other, so I never thought they would go on vacation together. I even married. Oh god, how how deep does this rebel, rabbit hole go in terms of creating this test, test subject? What well, yeesh, couldn't have taken me along? Seriously, sometimes I think they just had me to see if they would if they would make some kind of genius with their genes. Me too. That would explain why they always treat me like a disappointment. 
well, at least now Sophia is looking after me instead. She's much nicer to me anyway. Is she? She feels like a murderous fiend, honestly. But God knows. Barely didn't even exchange a word with her. Is she even Sophia? God knows. After finishing your meal, you clean up after yourselves and head back into the living room. Let's head up upstairs. I want to show you my room. How bad is it? Will it look this time? Can I look in here? Mm, a little bit worse. This is my room. I feel like I've cleaned it not too long ago. I really can't. Un really don't understand how it's this messy again. I hope you don't mind. I'm glad. Fun new couples activity. Clean up each other's room. Sure would be something, right? You wanna play? Actually, there's this really hard boss I've been struggling to beat in a game. Do you wanna give it a try? Why not? Watch out! Nice dodge. One more hit and we'll go into phase two. Whoa, big crit. Just a bit more and you have him. And you have him. Ah, oh, small typo. It takes you a few tries, but you manage to beat the boss. Yes! You have no idea how long I've been pros procrastinating this boss fight. Seriously, thank you. Something new about this? This is a picture of you and Fio. You don't, don't remember taking it. But you still remember this book. The plant is dying. Well, a lot of things are in this game. A way is full of flowers. I've seen better days. The expression is a bit sad. Oh well, yeah. Alright, let's hit the sack. You head into bed. Crow? Not sleepy either. You asked me about my parents earlier. Mm, I know you mentioned it before, but what were your parents like? I'm sorry, I know you probably don't want to talk about them, it's just... Makes me so angry, you know? I had no right to kick you out for keeping a secret like that. That just proves that you had to keep it a secret, right? My mother had a really funny reaction when I told her I like boys. <laughs> Please don't bore me with irrelevant information. You won't call, it, mm, call it anyone in the foreseeable future anyway, is what she said. Rude much? <laughs> that, uh, that, that sure is a reaction for a coming out. That sure is a reaction. But you know, when I told Sophia that I made a boyfriend, she was really happy for me. There are still some good adults out there, I think. Alright, I'm 18 now, so technically that makes me an adult too. I'll never be a mean adult, though. I certainly can't imagine it. If I decide to move out, could, could I move in with you? Uh, it's probably a bit early to ask something like that. Forget I said anything. Good night. Theo is sleeping peacefully, but seems like he doesn't realize what's going on. Ah, uh, Crow has... remembers this time, huh? Hmm... Welp. Guess I'll return... to this room to see... if they will kill me again. 
Why is there a lion right there? Wait a minute. Why is there a closet here? Why did I just notice that now? The closet is empty. Somehow it feels out of place. Do I have to hide in there? Do I have to hide in there? And I can't open my menu again in here. That certainly is. It can't be a bug, can it? It must be me intentional. Look under the bed. Yes. Yes. This shit again. Haha. <laughs> but why was there a closet this time? Like, did some, I don't know, God see the situation and was like, you know what? You know what? Let's give this boy a bit, of, a bit of mercy. After leaving the closet, one of the closet floorboards became loose. There was a key underneath. Now I can save. You little bastards. And of course, Fio is gone again. Hmm. I'm guessing everything will be used automatically. Or maybe this is Sophia's bedroom? There is a light switch next to the mirror. It's the first light switch you've seen in this house. You wonder if the rest of it is on a chimer. Um, it kind of feels like something bad will happen if I do, but whatever. What the fuck? Like, I... Uh, I don't know what a girl is doing, but she's starting to either get bored or have fun. One of the two. I mean... You don't want to look this a second longer. After tearing the poster off, you see that something has been written with red liquid on the wall. It reads, reads a, 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 a need to write down, need to write down, have to write this down. A. One seven o oh, two. All right. Sophia. This would make a nice thumbnail. So Sophia, you're gonna kill me now. I mean. You already ki killed Fio now, didn't you? I mean, what the hell, dude? I did notice that the phone was like... A bit. Uh, is it one seven o two?
First date. Day, month, year. But that was... Hmm... Hmm... Maybe the calendar. Hmm... Wait, so it's the first month anniversary, right? So was the first date the one where you started dating? I mean, it's it's worth a shot. We zero two zero three. Let's see. Alright, so two, three, ten. Oh. Hmm. Should I just make so a Sophia voice? <clears throat> Hello, Crow. I'm sorry I made you hide in the closet earlier. I'm sure that brought back bad memories. <laughs> Not in the mood for dad jokes. That's too bad. Wouldn't hurt to lighten the mood a little, would you? Would it? Now, don't go hanging up. I'm sure you've been walking around aimlessly for some time now. I've prepared this present for you. It's in the living room. Now, don't keep me waiting. Oh, and in case you are thinking about calling the police, we're surely past the point where I would have to explain why that's why that's a bad idea. Unless you truly believe that your future is in good hands with the government. Hmm. What the heck did you give me now? Is it Fio's head? A weird gas came out of the present. You don't feel too good. Well, I can imagine. And... Ah, flashback again. Hey there, cutie. Uh, are you talking to me? Oh shit, you are a guy? Mmm, yes? Are you making a fool of me? Don't ignore me, asshole. Uh, what's he supposed to do, man? Not his fault. That you misgender him. <laughs> Not his fault. How do you like that? Hey. Huh? Pick someone your own size, Corvid. You really think you stand a chance, you skinny little twat? A flick on my little finger would send you flying. <laughs> sure, if you want to create more evidence of badly. Whatever. I'm done wasting my time with you nerds. What's your problem? Are you alright? Yeah, he just shoved me a little. I'm fine. God, what an asshole. Thank you. Yeah, it was nothing. I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah.
Why is everything red now? You must have, you must have fallen asleep on a train. You wonder how much time has passed. Your stop must be coming up soon. Why is everything red? It might be your last. That, that, that doesn't sound good. Hey, glad you could make it. Come on in. Welcome to my home. I hope you like it. It's seen many days? Well, that's quite rude. You're lucky I love you. I mean, everything in here is dying. So like, yeah. Poor plant. And... Hmm. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> No, I can just walk in here. Oof. Oh, Crow, you surprised me. Seems like the ingredients I wanted to use are already expired. Root, it would have turned out fine. Just wait in the living room, I'll go find something else to eat. Yeah, well. <laughs> the text <laughs> changed. Hmm. There you go. I have not touched your food at all. If you don't like instant ramen, then you should just tell me. Mm. Is it even worth it to eat the same thing again, again, again? Why aren't you talking to me? You're behaving really distant. I don't like it. Did I do something? Yeah, sure. You sure as hell didn't. I won't know unless you tell me. Come on, Crow. Time loop 101. Always tell your friends. Nothing will solve itself if you don't tell people close to you what is happening to you. Talk to me. No, I'm sorry for getting mad. I know things aren't easy for you. I'm sure you have your reasons. Whatever is on your mind, I'll try to distract you from it. So, whenever you feel like you're ready, talk to me about it, okay? After finishing your meal, you clean up after yourself a little up. I know something that will cheer you up. We'll go play in my room. Hmm. What the heck is this? Uh, it's just dirt, probably. Mm, the wall is starting to crack. Mm, this door isn't open yet, huh? Good lord. Okay, yes, it looks bad. No need to say it. I really meant to tidy up before you come, before you come, but I forgot. Sorry. Hmm. You're not sure what this picture is of anymore. That's a bit worrying. But you, you remember this one, right? Somehow that thought seems a little pointless now, though. Well, oh yeah. It's an old school TV. 
There's this game I've been meaning to play. Wanna play it together? There's one behind the table. Now you're even playing horror games? Where did that come from? Ah, over there! Shoot it! Quick! Oh, so many guts. They made this game quite realistic, huh? Nice shot! Right through the head. Eh, why did you shut it off? Didn't you say before that you liked horror stuff? Uh, not anymore. When did you say that? Hmm, I think even before we started dating. Oh well, if you're not in the mood for it, then there's not much point to it. Let's just head to bed. And next time you can choose which game we play, okay? <laughs> you head into bed. Crow? Are you asleep already? Oh, I see. Well, good night. Crow? Just... Even if you felt under the weather today, I still had fun spending time with you. I hope next time you'll have just as much fun too. Crow, you need to talk to your boyfriend. Tell him what's going on. You cannot hide it. It's pointless to hide. You almost envy him. You can stop envying him by telling him. You know? That would be a thing you could do. Hmm. <laughs> this time didn't even need. Hmm. Hopefully one you won't need it again. <laughs> hmm. The light is on in here. There's nothing under here, right? Hmm. Does anything sparkle? 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 Sparkle stuff? No, maybe you should get yourself a weapon or something. They hung up immediately. <sighs> oh boy. This one, this thing again, huh? Yeah, I think that's a better choice than um, I don't know. What the heck is this? Uh. <laughs> One X and one X. Mm. Hmm. What could this mean? Ah, no, 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 no. Water box. Take the box and put it into the water. So like the sink or the bath. 
Let's see. Nope. It doesn't react. Okay, here. Yeah. A fairly faded bathroom sink. There is a drawer built into the sink. Take a look. There are multiple cleaning and tinsels and hygiene projects in the drawer. There is an empty bucket you could use to submerge the prison in water. Take the bucket, please. Bucket is too small. Hmm. The sink saved the day. Hmm. You know this trash can is very interestingly formed. Floating atop the liquid. A key. I see, I see. Mm. Well, this shows sure an interesting room, huh? And yeah, I guess. Fior's parents didn't go on a trip. I was wondering why the hell he would need a babysitter at 18. Uh, why did she, didn't she discard the bodies? Two skeletons wearing lab coats. Those two must be... Can I look at this? Can I get myself a weapon, please? Come on, crow. Mm. Ah, I can interact from it on here. There's some kind of file on a table, but it's way too dark in a room to read it. Take it with you. Hmm. Oh, I remember that I actually didn't really look at Theo this time. Subject name Theo Jenkins. Yep. Theo is older than I am. Number of iterations. Number of iterations 284. Huh. Number of successes 0. The subject seems to have developed into a balanced specimen despite the emotional isolation and excessive testing growing up. Overall, it appears that. that the. Test subject is not suitable for after multiple iterations. The subject we have yet to establish a connection between the cognitions. Hmm. There may be an way with plan Jen. The number subject name.
Into six? Number of iterations. F 52. Number of successes. You know, this iteration was created. Non gen by putting subject DNA in. So creation pool. Only successful case so far. We hope to recreate the success via this method. However, there has been no f further progress. No project has been delayed, declared a failure, and is terminated without further notice. Yeah, here we have something else that seems important. BR17. You remember seeing a crowd starting with A before, but where? <laughs> Just put it on the ground. Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. There's a trapdoor on the floor. Since it's open, someone must have used it recently. Well. Huh? The bins are filled to the brim with calendars. They are almost identical with only slight variations in the contents written in them. They are all of April 2010. That is quite concerning. These cabinets are filled with different documents. You couldn't be paid to go through all of them. You were ultimately locked in as a guest. The guest account seems to be new, as there aren't any files you can access aside from the standard files. Hmm. Now the elephant in the room. There's a there is a suspicious looking folder on the table. Take a closer look. There are some documents inside. One page in particular catches your attention. It's titled Iterations in the Potential to Replace the Original Body. What? In this research paper, I will explore the current state of iterations in the future potential for substituting the original body. Evident to observations, iterations are physically and psychologically lacking when compared to their original counterpart. Hmm. The body of an iteration stays identical to the original for mere hours until there are vast mental divergences. As memories of the original remain with the iteration, it seems to focus on a specific part of its memory, often linked to the original's emotion at the time of iterating. Furthermore, they are unable to act outside their fixations and seem to lack a code of ethics. The strong change in character marks the iteration an unsuitable replacement or legacy of the original. So like clones? However, combined with Dr. M.T. Johnson's theory on déjà vus, there may be a way to connect the cognition of the original and its iteration making the iteration into a vessel rather than an independent organism type. I will dive further into this theory and how to achieve a, t a results in the second part of this paper. You cannot find the second part, however you do find a key stuck between the last few pages. Hmm... Hmm? Some sort of camera. It's missing the battery, however the SD card is still in it. Take the SD card. 
a speaker. Probably for the better. Hmm. Can a PC help me here? Nice. Hmm. Ah, she's waking up. All right, camera rolling. Can you hear me? Huh? Dear, is that you? She can hear us? Great. Do you know your name? What? Dr. Carter, what's going on here? Oh my god. Are they using me as a test subject? Carter, you better let me go, I swear to god. No, no. Uh, or, wait. Which one of the two is it? N no, no, Miss Jenkins, that wouldn't be very smart of me, no, would it? Ah, so it is the dude. Dale! Alright, I did the right thing. I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize. This isn't your wife. It's simply an iteration. But seems like its memory is lining up with Sophia's. Good, good. What? What in the world are you planning to do to me now? Well, I'm hoping that next iteration you'll be able to tell me. No. No, Dale, don't let her do this. Don't let her do this to me, please. I'm so sorry. Wonderful. There are two more recordings on SD card. He's awake. Camera rolling. Mm. Huh? Can you hear me? Mother? What have I told you about calling me mother? Uh, sorry, Dr. Carter. Um, why am I restrained? Say, do you recognize this room? Uh... No? Really, nothing. Nothing about this situation feels familiar to you. No. This scare me. <laughs> Why are none of them recalling anything? Aren't we mistreating them enough? Is he still too young? I don't understand. Calm down, Carter. Maybe it's about time we... No, not after everything we went through to get this far. If we do this... Then it will be the breakthrough of the century, Jenkins. You sound like a broken record at this point. Just admit it. It's not possible. It is possible. Sophia is a living, well, dead proof that it is possible. Exactly. She's dead. Which is... Oh, I... Oh, I don't know. Just the entire opposite of the whole fucking goal of this experiment. Don't you use the tone with me, Jenkins. Sophia was indeed a failure in the end, but she showed us that it's possible. Maybe fewer isn't just quite genetically optimal, but it's nothing unfixable, no. You can't be suggesting. You know exactly what I'm suggesting. Now get rid of this failure, can't stand to look at it a second longer. Right. Huh? What are you... Wait, please, no! Now you want more recording. It's this room? Hmm... <laughs> Is 
something's blinking up here. These cabinets are filled with different documents. Search through the top drawer. After looking through a few files, you find a keycard. <laughs> there are two rooms. Uh. Uh. Mm. <laughs> All right, let's see. So good. They really make the best ice cream in town. Next time you have to try some too. Right, remind me to bring cash. Gee, I really could have bought one for you, you know? Not happening. I buy my own things. Oh, there go my dreams of being your sugar daddy. Maybe once you earn, you earn your own money. Crow? Hmm? Do you ever think I'm weird? I get a lot of disapproving looks for the way I dress or the things I like. And I've always gotten mean comments when I've wanted to eat ice cream in the winter. What I'm trying to say is, um... Society's standards are stupid. You're one of the good ones, you. Oh. I think Crow said the thing before. Thank you. You too, by the way. Thanks. Hehe, <laughs> somehow it feels like it's us against the world sometimes. Sounds about right. Even so, I feel like we could win against the world. But in the end, you couldn't win. Good fucking lord. How the hell do you manage to clone people so often? Well, like... I don't know, I... I don't know how this would be possible in reality otherwise. last. About time. I'm not getting any younger after all. But I digest. Digress. Do you want to know what's in this pot? In this pot? It's a bit of a Schrodinger's cat, really. I'm sure you know how the experiment goes. Say, have you ever given up on something out of fear of failure? Whether this experiment is a success or not, this is the end for me. When my creators decided to hand in the towel, I resented them. I couldn't understand their motive. I destroyed them to keep this experiment going. They did terrible things to their own son and even involved an unrelated party. And all of it might have been completely pointless. Have you ever asked yourself how Sophia died? She was murdered by her own iteration. Until the moment of her death, she had no idea what was going on. Even though her iterations were able to communicate with each other beyond their deaths, she stayed completely unaware to any of it. Huh. 
The point of iterating was to preserve someone's life. So she met quite an ironic end, wouldn't you say? Lately I've, become, I've come to romanticize this irony. Do you want to know why I took on her name? Because I reject the name my creators gave to me. They called me Ikaos. I don't mind the name itself. It is only the meaning I resent. The one who flew too close to the sun. It's almost like they set me up for failure. I guess in the end, that's all I ever was. A failure. But you are different. You are special. You may just have what it takes to become a god. A god? Perhaps you resent me. I can't fault you. I provoked it. I promise you'll get to put the final bullet through my head once the time comes. But until then, I won't pass on my work towards you. I will give you all my knowledge. You alone can give meaning to this re research now. You know just as well as me that this is the only future you have. Crow's life isn't yours to live after all. That's sad. Unless you choose to give this life back, I cannot make that decision for you. If you're willing to cooperate with me, has the cat already died? I wonder. In this world, what kind of future will you create? A long time later. Thanks for the food! What's the plan for today? I've noticed that we've started running low on food, so you'll probably go out today, right? I was wondering, maybe I could come along today? I know, I know, global pandemic and all, but I feel bad for letting you all do... Letting you do all the chores. Are you sure? It's not a burden to you? Okay, if you say so. I hope this pandemic ends soon. Mood. I really want to go out on dates again. Then again, it's only been a month, so I shouldn't be too impatient. Gotta give the government some time, too. <laughs> hmm. Take care. Oh, and I know they are all sold, sold out everywhere, but if they have some candy, make sure to get it. I don't even care about the brand at this point. Alright. It's not April anymore. After putting on your mask, you step outside. You have a hard time breathing as the sharp material presses onto your face. But you do not have a choice. Good lord. As breathing in any of the toxic atmosphere might kill you. This game sure is wild. I must say I still don't really understand on how the iterations are created. Like... Considering that her iteration killed Sophia, this means that they are a physical thing, which can kill real people. Meaning that they, this can just be a program or something. Oh boy. I'm a bit confused. So there must be something akin to, like, clones? Oh 
But how did this end up end end up this way? <laughs> it's quite an ending, you know. Uh, I sure hope not. Visit me in the white room. Two o o, two o o, eight two o two. Oh, that's a date, isn't it? The game really likes to just close on me, doesn't it? Hi, hi. So, let's see. Just if we can see something in a white room and then I will end this part. In the next one I will then do all the endings. Two. Eight. Two. Not go that way out again. Mr. Pigeon, why? Well, hello there. I am Mr. Pigeon. I am here to be of guidance and give you hints on how to see different conclusions to the story without needing external help. What's up with the door? This door leads to the bonus room, filled with extra exclusive to the extended edition. Of course, it also means that it can only be accessed in the extended edition. Hi, hi. Of course, how can I help you? Hmm. How do I get them? Would you rather have a vague hint and figure out the rest by, uh, by yourself? Or do you want one that's more than ours? Hmm. Vague. Our attachment to the people around us is an important factor for the decision we make. But how do you grow this attachment? Furthermore, have you put all the information you've been given to good use? I wonder if there's something you might have missed, I wonder. Lastly, sometimes it's important to take a moment and appreciate the people that are in our lives before making an important decision. I hope these hints were helpful at all. I see, I see. Alrighty then. I will try to find some more endings then. Until then, bye. Alrighty then, here's the next part of Sophia. Last time we got a first ending, and this time I try to get the other endings. So it seems there's actually a hidden drawer in here. So. And well, we've got two codes which we haven't used at all, the one with the A and the B in it. So let's see what's inside. There's something wrapped in cloth in the drawer. Take it with you. What is it though? After all, you've already made up your mind, haven't you? Why don't you both save us the tension and just point it at me already? How does it feel? There was a gun? Theo had a gun? I still remember the first time I took another life. Stabbing the people who put me through all the suffering over and over again. It wasn't as fulfilling as you would think. We are made to have a conscience, but no matter who you are, there's just nothing pleasant about the smell of blood. 
What's going on? Crow? Sophia? Why are you guys... What? <laughs> wow, I didn't know you were this crafty. They look so realistic too. Good job. Enough to sell. Good enough of the scary pranks now. Why don't we go to the kitchen and make hot cocoa for everyone? Oh, Phil. No matter how bad the situation seems, you are always able to smile for anything. Anything. I've always hated that about you. Crow. Well, it's. Uh, it is a shoulder shot. No, please stay with me. Why? Why would you risk your life for him? He's nothing more than a failed iteration. The real Theo doesn't even know you. The one from your memories is long since dead. So why? What are you hoping to achieve? You are just... Help! You grab him before you can run off. You you don't want me to call anyone? But... Alright, hang in there. We'll figure this out. Well, Crow looks happy. At least. After that, I brought <clears throat> After that, I brought Crow to my room and somehow managed to nurse him back to health. Thankfully, the bird had missed any vital organs and I had enough tools on hand to save him. Afterwards, he explained everything that was going on to me. I didn't really get any of it, but I understood that we couldn't trust the government from now on. Because we are different. Soon after Crow had recovered, we decided to burn my house down and get as far as possible from the city as possible. Ever since then, I've, we've been on the run. It's not an easy life, but I'm happy nonetheless. As long as we're together, I'm sure we'll be able to face anything. But how did the Acap apocalypse thing happen in the other ending? This ending makes more sense to me. It's basically about two clones who are, well, running away together. So, now I'm trying to record the next set of endings. This ending is what you get if you don't always play with you and you didn't get the file. Let's see. If you're willing to cooperate with me, has the cat already died? I wonder. In this world, what kind of future will you create? The patient has woken up. How are you feeling? Huh? Where... where am I? In a hospital. You were found three days ago at the side of the road. What is the last thing you remember? Huh? Remember? I was coming home from practice. What day was that? What day? It was the third, I think. Month and year? Uh, the 3rd of January, 2010. Why, what day is it today? That looks like Crow with very, very long hair. <laughs> it's the 2nd, 3rd of August, 2020. <laughs> Huh? 
You have been reported missing, sir, ten years ago. What? What? I can't remember anything. That was also a very mysterious ending. Good lord. Alright, here's the next ending of sometimes playing with you and taking the stuff from Fio's draw with you. Trying to convince you is pointless, isn't it? After all, you've already made up your mind, haven't you? When don't you both save us detention and just point it at me already? How does it feel? I still remember the first time I took another life. Stabbing the people who put me through all the suffering over and over again. It wasn't as fulfilling as you would think. We aren't made to have a conscience, but no matter who you are, there's just nothing pleasant about a smell of blood. What's going on? Crow? Sophia? Why are you guys... What? Wow, I didn't know you were this crafty. That looks so realistic too. Good job. Enough of the scary pranks now. Why don't we go to the kitchen and make a hot cocoa for everyone? Oh, Theo. No matter how bad the situation seems, you are always able to smile through anything and I've always hated that about you. And this time Theo gets shot, huh? Huh? Just leave it, you won't be able to save that one. I don't know why you're so hung up on someone you knew for just one day. He's nothing more than a failed iteration. The real Theo doesn't even know you. Or is it because this one is your Theo? You understand that you're different from him by now, don't you? You know, it's not too late. You choose me, I can teach you how to make a new one. I have lots of backups you can choose from. I see, that's a shame. But very well, I will honor your choice. I just hope you won't come to regret it. A few weeks later. Come on, Slowpoke, I'll be out in the woods by the time you catch up. Well, stop walking so fast then, jeez. Why are, why are you in such a hurry anyway? Haven't you heard? There was like a house or something that burned down close by. Okay, so? Oh my god, you don't understand. They found like 500 unidentifiable corpses in there. It's creepy as f. Really? That sounds kind of rad. Wanna check it out? Ew, no! Hmm? What's that over there? I am not falli falling for that. No, seriously, look. Is someone bur buried a pet here? I don't know, but it creeps me out. Let's just go. Geez, sorry about that. Hope you find peace, buddy. Aww. And this is now the... Basically, I did the very same thing, but I also said goodbye to Theo, so let's see how that will affect this. Uh, what's going on? Crow? Sophia? Why are you guys... What? Wow, I didn't know you were this crafty. It looks so realistic too, good job. Enough of the scary pranks now, why don't we go to the kitchen and make hot cocoa for everyone? Oh phew, no matter how bad the situation seems, you are always able to smile through anything. And I've always hated that about you. 
But he still gets shot, huh? Huh? Just leave it, you won't be able to save that one. I don't know why you're so hung up on someone you knew for just one day. I have a feeling that this time Crow may actually take Sophia's proposal. He's nothing more than a failed iteration. My real Fio doesn't even know you. Or is it because this one is your Fio? You understand that you're different from him by now, don't you? You know, it's not too late. If you choose me, I can teach you how to make a new one. I have lots of backups you can choose from. I see, that's a shame. But very well, I will honor your choice. I just hope you won't come to regret it. When I came to, I was lying in a hospital bed. My body felt weak, at first I could barely even talk. I was told that I felt me collapse by the side of the road. When they asked me what happened, I would always repeat the same words. I don't know. According to the police, I was last seen in March 2010. After my friends hadn't been able to contact me for a while, they called the police. In 2017, I was officially declared dead and finally being found three years, three years later. Since then, five years have passed. Hmm. Hello? Crow? Are you at the airport yet? Nope. What do you mean, nope? Your flight is in one hour, isn't it? I overslept. I'm at the bus station, though. Oh. What now? Nothing. Looks like I just missed the bus. Well, I should make it with the next one. Should? Crow, do you have any idea how much is riding on this deal? Listen, Crow, I know you've been working freelance so far, but now that you are part of a team, I need you to be more cooper cooperative. We're putting a lot of work and effort into making sure everything goes smooth, so please, for the love of God, don't fuck this up. I'm saying this for your sake, first and foremost. Are you even listening? Huh, now open up a new coffee shop at the bus station. You better not... What? Sorry, signal's bad. Call you back later. <laughs> anyway. Good day, sir. May I take your order? Medium black, please. One medium-sized black coffee coming right up. Some sugar milk to go with it? Nah, I'm good, thanks. This place is pretty new, eh? Ah, yes, we opened about a month ago. You're the owner? Yes. Fresh out of school and already opening up cafes, huh? Not bad. Oh, I'm already 33. Although I did finish culinary school not too long ago. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Thank you. So, are you a musician? Lead singer, guitarist. Scraping by to make a living, but I can't afford a cafe, cafe, so I have that going for me. That's really cool. Do you play in, the air, in this area? Not anymore, kinda on the run, so... Right, that will be 250. Keep the change. Uh, are you sure? That's a lot. Don't need it where I'm going. Uh, are you leaving 
the country? Yep, hopefully for good. Oh, I see. Kind of hoped I made a new regular. If I ever come back, I'll be sure to swing by. Thank you. Hope you have a good flight. Thanks. Good luck with your dream as well. Yeah, thanks. Was that like the original fear or is it another iteration? That surprised me. So you opened up a cafe, huh? Ah, but Crow remembers. At least that. Ah, I see him this time. Yeah. If you're willing to cooperate with me, has the cat already died? I wonder. In this kind of world, what kind of future will you create? A long time later. Mm. Hmm? When I wake up, my surroundings are cold and I'm enveloped in darkness. There's a horrible stench in the air. Where? As I try to move, I realize that my hands have been bound. There also seems to be some kind of fabric around my head. A bag? But uh, did someone kidnap me? Finally awake. Wh who's there? Are you the bastard who did this? Yeah, right. I'm in the same situation, dipshit. Girl figure. Any clue what's happening? Can't see much, but judging from the screams, nothing good. Oh, why are you so calm? We need to get out of here. Oh, you don't say. Think I haven't tried, our asshole. They will catch us and then... They? Done responding, huh? A few hours pass as we sit next to each other in complete silence. I try to get more information out of the person next to me, but to no avail. The same, s the last, si the last, the silence is interrupted. The door. No. Someone's coming. Please. G For a moment, the room falls silent again. All I hear is the sound of my own breath hitting against the fabric around my face. Oh, accompanied by the horrible stench of blood around me. And suddenly, somebody yanks the fabric of my head and everything turns bright. As I look up, the last face... Upon the last face I would ever see, it's yourself. <laughs> Well, that's the... he really is just doing the same thing kind of ending. And this is the ending where you get the um, gun back and Crow already shot her before I could start the recording. Huh. I see. So that's the choice you made. This time there's not another crow in it, but just bread. Burn it to the ground, boy. Burn it to the ground. That is also a valid way of dealing with all this. Good lord.
And this. We are now all the endings of the free version. If you want to see the extra endings, what you need to do is buy the extended edition and yeah, then you can get the other endings for this game. So, this was quite an interesting game, I have to say. I am very sure that I did not understand everything, <laughs> but I don't necessarily think I need to. I don't think it's necessary, necessarily to understand every single thing here. So yeah, this was very enjoyable. Thank you very much for making the game, Hatogea, and I look forward to your next games.